Gordon Moore, the founder of the Intel company, said something in 1965 that seemed ridiculous. He said, every two years, the size of transistors is dividing by two. What does that mean? It means transistors get smaller and smaller and the amount of transistors go up. When Gordon Moore said this, it was six years after the first microchip was created. Is our world gonna get destroyed by robots in the future? Movies like The Terminator, Robocop, iRobot, and others, how real could they be? Technological Singularity. This means when artificial intelligence passes human intelligence. In the last century, technological growth has been insane and it's been growing exponentially. It was only around a hundred years ago that the Wright brothers invented the first airplane. But a hundred years later, we got to a point where we go to Mars. In the last 50 years, transistors went from 10,000 nanometer to just 10 nanometers. 50 years ago, with one dollar, you could do one tenth of a calculation per second. But right now, with one dollar, you could do one billion calculation per second. CPS is basically calculations per second. This is Ray Kurzweil, someone that predicts the future. But predicting in a good way, nothing ridiculous. He predicts that in the year 2045, the brain of a computer is gonna pass the human brain. The human brain power is 10 quadrillion calculations per second and you have to put 110 and 15 zeros in front of it and computers are gonna get to that level. It is true that the computer will have that insane amount of power but it won't have the intelligence of a human because intelligence is something different. Before we move forward, we have to know that there's three different artificial intelligence. The first one is artificial narrow intelligence. This is a computer that only knows how to do one thing, like play chess or drive a car. The second one is artificial general intelligence. This artificial intelligence is even smarter than humans, and we don't have that yet. And the last one is called artificial super intelligence. This version is very scary. Some scientists believe this is the god of intelligence because it will be billions of times smarter than a human. If we actually get to this level of intelligence, there's two ways left for humans. One is either extinction or humans will be immortal. But we don't want to move too fast. We first have to find where we are right now. We don't have computers smarter than humans yet. In our video about the next 100 years, we said that we could scan our brains and download it on a computer. Scientists say to get intelligence smarter than humans, you have to scan the brain and put it in the computer. But you know what's the problem? 
Nobody knows how to do such a thing. Another thing is to add codes to the computer, but this requires a lot of time. But they say it will happen before 100 years. But let's go in the future and let's imagine we made a computer that's smarter than humans. The first order the humans are gonna tell the computer is already too much. They keep telling the computer, get smarter, get smarter, because you know things that we don't know, so do something. Telling this to a smart computer is very dangerous because a computer is not like a human and has to wait for evolution to get smarter. The computer can make itself smarter exponentially. Do you know what this means? It means that whatever smarter it gets, it doubles in time after that. Exponential growth is actually really insane, and it could get to a high level real quick. But can we control the speed of this growth? Like can a human order the computer to stop? No, because it will get to a level that it would see itself bigger than a human, and it would make its decisions by itself. It will be so smart that it will see a human like an idiot. And it could do things that a human can't even find out. Because this is level number three, artificial super intelligence. The same thing that the scientists called the God of intelligence. But is this computer a positive computer? Or is it evil? If it decides to help out humanity and has the brain power to help us out, it would be the greatest thing ever because it could solve all the hardest problems. Remember, it's billions of times smarter than a human. If there was a computer like this and Corona came, Corona wouldn't last seconds because there would be a solution right before it spread. It would fix global warming in a day. Pollution, starvation, all these solutions would be on the table. Scientists say if we get to this intelligence and it's a positive one, we could say goodbye to death because your brain could be on a computer forever. Until now, it was good. But that's the case if the computer is a positive being. But what if the computer is negative and evil? It would be so powerful that it could exterminate the human population in seconds. But there's one question. Can humans create such a thing that it won't turn out evil? Scientists say, don't worry, we could program the computer before it gets smart and give them codes to only help out humanity and make living here and everything around us better and better. Tell them to not create any danger for anybody. But some scientists say, good luck with that. If it gets smarter, it could just ignore the codes and erase them. It could tell itself, you're not on my level to give me orders. Technological singularity has a lot of fans and people that hate it. Like Bill Gates and Stephen Hawking used to say that artificial intelligence is dangerous and we shouldn't make it. Elon Musk is on the boat with them as well. But Mark Zuckerberg is 100% for it, and he's even invested in things like this.
They say when humans invent this, it will be the last inventions of humanity. Because the next inventions are all gonna be done by the computer. And your invention wouldn't matter anymore because your brain power is not as strong anymore. If you want to learn more about technological singularity, go to singularityhub.com and read about it because there's a lot of cool articles in there. In my opinion, this technology will be created. Even though if there's people saying no, it will eventually get done. What do you guys think? You think it would help out humanity or eliminate it?